You guys stayed up too late, uh, hanging out with Jimmy Stewart on uh, Turner Classics. The last I remember, he was doing push-ups or something. You guys ever seen The Seven Seal? I'm going to stall up here for five minutes and talk about movies here. Seven Seal? Yeah, it's great. The chess scene or whatever. But I like the, the actors or players in it, you know, in the theater where he's forced to get up and at the meat hall and dance like a bear in front of everybody. Has anybody seen this? this no? Okay. That's what I feel like. All right. <laughs> About as good as my poems here. Hang on. Uh, the final days of Houdini. My grandfather is drinking whiskey as he stares at a birch tree near the back side of his house. He looks lost. I tell him it's dinner time. Grandma's looking for you. He grins and holds up his whiskey. Let me dissolve this first. He tilts his head back and raises the glass. I watch as we both disappear. It's called Jake. Down at the end of the bar, Jake waves, but he does it reluctantly and then smiles. Because what he's really doing is waving at me because no one else here will, and he knows that. I send him back a fuck you wave, making sure he knows that I know this little drunken exchange of hand gestures is now complete. A lot of these are short. I've been calling them my little jerk off poems, so they're long for the ride to be fond of them. Uncanny, uncanny resemblance. My two-year-old son is wearing a beer box on his head as a helmet, and he's running into chairs and walls, chasing after the dog. He thinks this is good fun. Uh, this tub looks like a small coffin, thoughts on Van Gogh's final painting. I stick my feet into the bathtub and place my beer on the windowsill. The water leaks through the stopper, and although I struggle with the tiny lever to close it, I cannot. Through the window, I see the sky go dark, and it reminds me of Van Gogh's final painting, the one with the blackbirds shitting themselves as they fly straight into death. And it's then, as I reach for my drink, that I notice all the dead bugs lying upside down, pretending to sleep. And I think, dear God, before plunging my balls straight down into the hot water. I just wanted to say balls up here. <laughs> uh, here's a nice short one. People cry in cars. The guy who holds the stop sign during road construction knows this. That's it. Choices. My mother and grandmother are in the other room, picking out fabrics and colors for the new living room furniture. I hear my grandmother say, these are the last ones I'm ever going to purchase before I die. Her voice is very casual and almost happy. El Dorado Blue. At the gas station, I looked at her behind the bulletproof glass as she rings up my Budweiser tall boy. She resembles a burned out version of Jane Fonda. She, smi she tries to smile. My card has been declined. We both look at the card, neither of us sure what we're doing anymore. She can run out bone. Violence. I'm staring, at a ten, I'm staring at 10 TVs in Target, and they're all tuned into the same channel. Mia Kunis is getting married. That's her name, right? From the 70s show, did I say that right? Everyone on the show seems very excited, almost too excited. Less than five years ago, the store was shot up by a 17-year-old <coughs> kid. He killed six people and then himself. No one understood why he did it. I think they should probably shut these TVs off. All right, last one. Genetics. 
This one's for my grandma. It's happy hour and the bar is loud. There's a drunk who looks like my great uncle. It is my great uncle. He's staring at the bartender who doesn't look older than 17. I'm staring at it too. All right, thank you for letting me follow you.